Thanks to Gray then for the Hunter Chases. And I'll close the week off with the Montpellier Chase, which is a small but select field. It's an allowance race over two miles. And at the top, we've got Gaffer, or Craig Wick with Diamond Geezer, Graham Clutterbuck, Majave, Senator Leon Van Rensburg, Queen Sapphire, David Robertson, and the other one for Joshua Sutherland. Fly by the course, away we go in. Safety over the first with the other one. And Majave Senator disputed it. Super HD, I think, for this one. If we've got the same pictures that I've got, it's crystal clear, sharp as I don't know what. It's really spectacular looking as they get over the second. A mistake by Gaffer. But it's the other one who's got the lead. Majave Senator. And Queenie Sapphire third. And the fourth place horse is Diamond Geezer. Gap of two lengths back to Gaffer, who's the back marker as they get to the third, which they all stream over nicely. With the other one leading by neck, as in Majave Senator in second. Gap of a couple of lengths then to Queenie Sapphire in third. Gap of four to the grey Diamond Geezer. And another gap of a couple back to Gaffer. At the back, Ooh, successfully negotiating four fences now and heading down towards the fifth. They're not hanging about, and the leading pair are matching strides at the head of the field. The other one, and the black and the red hoops, and the Java Senator in the blue with a gold cap. Back in the third, Quiddy Sapphire. Gaffer's gone past Diamond, Diamond Geezer back in fourth. He's another back marker, but no more than 10 minutes of the lead. That lead is just a bad hill by Majave Senator there. Although the other one is driven back up on the inside and maybe landed just in front there. Got just three to take now. And the other one has gone back into a length lead from Majave Senator and Queenie Sapphire. Gap of four or five then back to Gaffer. He's going to have to. Get going soon, so to his Diamond Geezer with a further two that's behind that one, but the other one's gone for home, I think, as they swing for home now with just three to take, and it's the it's the other one who's two lengths clear of Majave Senator who's under pressure in second, then Queenie Sapphire is third, over the third last they go, and the other one is in front, Queenie Sapphire moving up now towards Majave Senator in second, these three are clear, it's between these as they come down towards the final two, and the other one looks to be going well enough in the lead now, two to three clear of Majave Senator and Queenie Sapphire over the second last they go good jump by all three of them but it's the other one who's still in front Majave Senator is in second Queenie Sapphire is third they've still got three furlongs to go they've only got one more fence to take and the other one is still two to three clear and doesn't look like it's stopping at the moment the other one is well clear maybe four clear now over the final fence gets away pretty well enough four there Queenie Sapphire's gone but it's the other one who's miles clear now and he's going to take this one quite comfortably there's still two furlongs to go and barring a miracle this is going to be Joshua Sutherland ending the week as he started it turning into the straight. There's still a long run in. There's a long way to go. Majave Senator is not making any impression on this leader. He's been kept up to his work by the jockey and the other one. He's a good 6-7 and it's clear. Gaffer's the one who's running on like a train into second. I don't think he's going to get near this leader. And it's the other one who takes it into the week well for Joshua Sutherland. Second is the Gaffer. Third Majave Senator and fourth was Diamond Geezer. Oh. Diamond Geezer himself, Graham Clutterbuck, but it's a win for Joshua Sutherland. And the other one takes it pretty comfortably from Gaffer, who ran on really well in second for Craig Beck with Majave Senator. Found nothing under pressure for Leon Van Rensburg back in third, and Diamond Geezer for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. That's it for week five, I think, is now over. We'll be back next week for the final week before the Christmas and New Year break.